Michael, Michael Motorcycle. Yeah, buddy. That is the voice of Hall of Fame Penn's announcer, Mike Lang. Mike, welcome to Yakin' With You Jag Off. We're glad you're here. I guess I'm glad I'm here. <laughs> you know we're a hard-hitting news agency yes. here, so we're gonna, this isn't going to be easy for you. <laughs> so, well, first of all, we're glad to have you, and let's just kind of get to the point of how does Mike Lang get to Pittsburgh, and how does he get to do hockey? Well, it's pretty simple. I mean, I got on an airplane, did I not? Yeah. <laughs> and made my way on an all-nighter from San Diego. I grew up in California. Uh, I got exposed to hockey a little later in uh, my college years, did some games, kept some tapes, and ended up going uh, to Phoenix for three years, to San Diego for one, and then this job opened in Pittsburgh uh, on the radio side with KDK Radio. I applied for it, and they uh, said, uh, well, uh, we'll take you under consideration, and they ended up hiring me. So I came to Pittsburgh, and uh, it was a great fit for me. It yeah. really was, yeah. Well, I think, yeah. you know, I'm trying not to pee my pants. I'm so excited here, Mike, because <laughs> you really, you you are the guy I used to listen to with the transistor radio under the pillow. Same, you know, typical story. I mean. Well, you were a night owl, you know, <laughs> I remember. And we've had the night owl members since 1974. Yeah. Uh, I can vividly remember my days when I used to listen to ball games, baseball games. Uh, and I would listen to, believe it or not, the San Francisco Giants, who a lot of times played the Pittsburgh Pirates. And I would be in my bed with my pillow, with my radio, doing the same thing. So you're not alone. I mean, this is where we all kind of get that, that itch and that edge to maybe be uh, involved in this business. And that's where it happened for me. It really did. Nine years of age. Now, I, I like the fact that uh, you answered this off camera, so I'm asking you. I love the answer. Did you want to broadcast hockey? Uh, it's a surprise of surprises that I did do hockey. Actually, no desire to do it, but I ended up learning the game. And uh, I, can, I had a college roommate who asked me to go to a, an amateur hockey league in Sacramento, California. And I said to him, what do I know about hockey? I, he said, I, I said, blue line, red line, whatever. And, and this is exact words, and we're still dear friends today. And he goes, you never know. <laughs> and you know what? He was absolutely right. Yeah. And uh, we stay in touch, and I see him a lot when I go out to the West Coast. And uh, he was absolutely on the money, and I ended up doing hockey. And, it's, it's been a great, great time for me. One of my favorite lines of yours is, scratch my monkey's back with a saw. I yeah, love that yeah, one. Yeah, that's really good too, John. Uh, you know, I mean, when you get a guy that really doesn't know the phrases and really is out of his category and what he does, it's like... Uh, I'm, I'm nervous. Mike. I know. It's like, all right. Hey, what, is it, what did you say? Scratch my monkey's back? Yeah, with a, with a circular saw? I'll take it. I'll change it. I'll change it, John. <laughs> I'll change it. We'll make the phrase a little long, and that's a good idea. See, see that? I get all the new phrases right here. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> I forgot my next question, You see, Mike. ladies and gentlemen, this is disturbing. It is disturbing. You know, you bring a professional broadcaster in here to try and do something, know it's you know, for people, and what do we have? What do we have? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I forgot the question. All right, so Mike, let's just ask a standard question. Like, where do you come up with your sayings? How about that? That, that, that? You know, Michael, Mike, did Michael, Michael motorcycle start off as Michael, Michael, Mo Molly, Molly motor, and you added it? How did you get to all those things? You know, they, <laughs> at the end of this show, usually somebody calls a guy a jag off. Molly, what Molly, whatever. Anyway, I'll wait. Michael Michael Motorcycle, I was sitting in a uh, restaurant and a gentleman who worked at a car dealership was there and he was from Texas and he was walking out the door and he waved to me and I was down eating lunch and he waved to me and he said, I'll see you later, Michael Michael Motorcycle and that big Texan drawl. And I looked at him and I said, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's where that came from. <laughs> really? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you have a punch list that you go through each game, you know, this or do you randomly select them? and? Uh, I do make a list these days, but the list is just to prohibit myself from repeating game after game the same thing. Uh, but there are moments when situations arise where it just comes spontaneous uh, to me and when I work. And uh, if, if it happens to be the same thing I did say a game before, let's well, so be it. Uh, it's just the moment and the emotion of it on what happens and, and what I feel at the, at the very time when, yeah. when the goal is scored. So that's how I work it. One of my other favorites is... Uh is um oh shoot what is one of my other favorites um uh oh i love the one loretta about loretta L look out loretta lynn 
yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, that's and then really then you've good. gotten some new ones like uh, you know there's something about a milkshake or something like that. I, I mean I'm a big fan, Mike. I shake your milkshake or yeah. something. Yeah. Now here's here's what I would say to it, to it all. Um, can I do call a goal? Can I just call? Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. I, yeah. I, 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 I'm gonna yeah. do it like this. Yeah. I'm gonna do it like this. Hey, shoots and scores. Get that jag off off my lawn. <laughs>